Ready? Yeah. Okay, right, I'll let you know when it's kicked in. <clears throat> So everybody remembers to mute just in case. There you go, you're live now. Right, thank you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Sustainable Development Fund Committee meeting. Um, straight into the agenda, item number one is correspondence and apologies. So over to you for that, please, Ben. Thank you. Uh, yep, yeah, we've had three apologies, as far as I'm aware, from William Powell, Sarah Cocum, and Chris Walsh. Okay, thank you. Um, is there any other correspondence that we should be bringing up in this item? No, OK, brilliant. OK, straight on to number two then, which is declarations of interest. Does anybody have any related to anything in today's agenda? A lot of shaking heads, no, OK. And now item three is public speaking, which is when we give the opportunity for members of the public to address the meeting in accordance with the authorities public speaking scheme. I haven't had any notifications that anybody wants to speak. Um, I assume that's the same with you, Ben. Not had any note. Yeah. OK. OK, on to item four then, which is draft guidance notes for applicants. <clears throat> um, part A is places of worship, and this is straight back to you again, Ben. We have a busy morning this morning. <laughs> yeah, morning, everyone. Um, Barbara and Helen are, are both away today, so just me, so I'll do my best. Um, if there's anything I don't know, I'll, I'll pass it back to you. Um, well, I'll, I'll get back to you. So SDF guidance notes, a suite of brief guidance notes has been developed for potential applicants aiming to capture broad, a broad approach on and policy on various themes. It's hoped that these will assist applicants and support consistent advice giving and decision making. A note covering community playgrounds was approved earlier in the year and two further topics are now in draft. Uh, these should be in your uh, papers. First one is places of worship. Comments have been sought from the National Park Authority heritage and ecology teams and their feedback incorporated. And the second one is community halls. Um, the sustainable communities team and uh, Pavo colleagues have similarly commented on this draft note and any comments and feedback are from the SDF committee and panel members is, is, is welcomed as well. OK, thank you, Ben. Um, <clears throat> anybody got any queries or anything they want to raise on this bit? No. OK, well, thank you for that, Ben. Um, and that drink brings us now to the access to information section, which um, this is the part where you have to exclude the press and public from the meeting. Um, Gemma, do you want to take us through this this part? Yeah. It's our Thank recommendation you. that items 6 through to 12 are held in a private session in accordance with section 100A of the Local Government Act 1972, specifically in relation to paragraphs 12, 13 and 14, in that they contain information relating to a particular individual, contain information that's likely to reveal the identity of an individual and contain information relating to the financial or business affairs of an individual. In doing so, we believe the public interest in maintaining this exemption outweighs the public interest in disclosing the information. So can that please go to a vote chair? Thank you. Yes, if you want to get the vote ready and we'll all um, take part. There you go, that should show on your screens any moment. If officers can please vote, officer not eligible to vote and members can put their vote in. There you go. Everybody here, I'll close the poll now. And that is unanimously for. Thank you, Chair. Thank, thank you, Gemma. OK, well, um, thank you to anybody who's joined this very short meeting this morning, but um, we need to go into private session now, so thank you. <laughs> 